This is The Blaze. We are building a different kind of network and so much more. The network you are building. Here, we're going to push the envelope. This spring, The Blaze is getting even bigger. We are here to dream, pave a new path, set a new course, and build a new community of Americans. My job is to reinvent the media and empower you to rechart your course. It's a small goal, I know, but I believe together we can make a real impact. Oh, I love it. That's Glenn Beck. And you know The Blaze, because every Friday we have Billy Hallowell or Tiffany Goodbye on from The Blaze. We also have occasional guests like Buck Sexton, the national security editor. Well, guess what? Billy Hallowell's in the house. Billy, welcome to Toronto. Thanks for having me. Great to see you. You know, normally we talk about the issues of the day. I mean, you're the faith editor of The Blaze. But today I just want to talk about The Blaze itself. I'm a fan of Glenn Beck's, and I, I was on his show once talking about freedom of speech, and I follow what he does. He often breaks stories that the mainstream media either ignore or if they pay attention to, well, they try and bury and say, ah, oh, don't look there, too controversial. What's the blaze mean to you? You know, I think the truth has no agenda. That was our, our slogan, and now it's the truth lives here. And the whole goal is to find the things and the angles that people aren't talking about. I mean, there's a lot of news stories that are out there, and a lot of times there's really interesting pieces of the story that aren't being reported. And these are things that are, aren't only important to conservatives, but they're important to everybody. And so really our goal on TheBlaze.com, which has expanded into so many other things, a magazine, radio, we have the television network now, um, is to really find those, those tidbits of truth and to bring them out to people and to show them things they're not seeing other places. It's also driven by Glenn Beck's own personality. I, what I like about him is he teaches as he learns. Like he's clearly got an enormous curiosity about almost everything, whether it's Rudyard Kipling's literature, whether it's uh, historical, uh, um, the, the steps of a philosophy of how it's... Uh, and, and it's an exciting feeling to learn along with him. That's what I feel. He also has an idealism, and some people laugh at it, but I think it's, it's absolutely genuine. I mean, it's so clear that he's, that he's trying to live his beliefs in the company. That's what is also unique, and some people think it's weird, is that the show has a person's personality rather than the bland, vanilla personality of a mega corporation. Right. And what you'll find, too, that kind of goes along with that on TheBlaze.com is that, you know, we have a tech editor, we have a science editor, and we have a business editor. I'm the faith editor. And we're covering politics. But you'll also find really fun news, uh, viral videos, goofy things. You know, it's a, it's a mix of sort of everything that's out there because, you know, I know for me in my media experience, I want to go out there and see an array of elements in one place. You know, you can go to, there's a lot of great outlets that cover just faith, and there's a lot of great outlets that cover just politics politics, but we've really tried to do everything um, in an organized way that brings people the most important stories of the day, the hard news of the day, but also things that um, people might find interesting or entertaining at the same time. So there's always a balance there in trying to, in trying to do that. I first discovered uh, Glenn Beck when he was on CNN. In fact, I appeared on his show back then. Then he moved to Fox and really became a big, got some big ratings numbers. Then he made the jump to Glenn Beck TV, theblaze.com. Help me understand, what is the company? Like, I, we saw the promotional video there. I mean, you obviously have offices, lots of staff. We see that when we talk to you from New York. Like, like what is it? Uh, you're, are you just on, uh, you're moving from just the Internet, you're moving back on a TV now? Is that, am I getting that right? Yes, I mean, it's moved very quickly. It started out as, you know, Mercury Radio Arts, which is Glenn's radio company, then The Blaze. He's like the number three radio host in America or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, he's a right? huge radio host in America and, you know, obviously a popular television host too. And then TheBlaze.com um, came about two years ago, a little over two years now. And TheBlaze.com really expanded. Um, he started a television network on the internet called GBTV. And that was right after the website launched. GBTV was a paid subscription, really one of the first of its kind, where people would pay in online to have access to the online television. Television network. And it got, what, 300,000 subscribers yeah. right out of the gates? Yeah. Yeah. That's bigger. Like, for example, I was just reading that Pierce Morgan has 100,000 uh, viewers in the demo, so you're triple his size. Right. And now what, what has happened is DirecTV picked that up, a carrier in the U.S. And then on top of DirecTV, some other carriers have picked it up. So, so you're on satellite? Are you on some cable companies, too? I saw yes, some there's news. some cable companies. So isn't that funny? So, you, so instead of going from 
uh, cable TV into the internet. It's the reverse. You're from the internet into cable TV and satellite. Right. That, that's got to be new. And, and yeah, it is. It's totally new. And the way that the shows are shot, I mean, it's just amazing what the teams have done there on the TV side. We have a studio in New York. We have a studio in Dallas. And um, we have people all over the country coming on. And if people um, want to check it out, it's theblaze.com. You can find everything there. GBTV became the Blaze TV um, in that transition. And it's all happened very quickly. We have a magazine, too, a print magazine. Yeah, we had uh, Dan Gaynor on talking about uh, 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 the war against Christianity and the jihad in America. I, you know, I, I can't believe all this is going on. I mean, Glenn Beck, there's only one of him. How can I mean, how can he do radio and TV and the website and the magazine? I mean, I, I've never seen a more productive man. It's it, uh, <laughs> how. Well, here's what you'll find, too. I mean, we have a great team. You will find that TheBlaze.com is hard news. And I think that people have been looking for an alternative to mainstream media for a long time. We cover stories with the facts. You ask the five W's, you ask how, and you present the story, right? And so that's what TheBlaze.com is. We have some commentary on our contributor section, on the blog section of the um, news website, and then on our television network where Glenn is and all the other programs, and on our radio, we have a lot of commentary going on. And so it's a great mix. You know, we've approached the news news in a way that, you know, listen, commentary is great. We have it at The Blaze, but we want to give you the story, let you figure out, here's all the facts. You figure out what you believe about that. Again, finding those interesting angles. And so we've got that great team and we all work together so wonderfully. And, uh, How many folks in the whole shop? Overall, the entire company, I think around 200. Um, and then, you know, dot .com has, I think, about 15 writers right now who are full-time. You know, um, those are some of the same goals and mandates that we have here at The Sun. You're just so big and fast. We only have about 10 seconds left. Tell me, uh, what percentage of your viewers and web visitors are from Canada? That's a really good question. We know that the second, uh, when you look at all the countries of people who are reading and watching, it's Canada comes in number two. So I don't have the exact numbers on me, but it's huge. We have a lot of Canadians, and I think it's great we get to come on this show and, and talk about the blaze and, and have that partnership. I think that helps a lot. Uh, and so we're excited to have Canadians. We wish you would all come on and uh, go to theblaze.com and watch the network and read us daily. Right on. Well, the feelings mutual. Billy, great to see you live in person. Hey.